Hey guys, what's up? I got some toothpaste. Welcome back to another video. Say hello. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Hope everyone's doing good. Um, the weather today is supposed to get bad tonight, so. We're supposed to see some ice and snow. Some ice and snow, so we don't know if we're gonna be working tomorrow or not, just cause it's Texas, that's how we do it here. None of us are prepared for this type of weather. I so actually, when we get off of work, you said you are? We're actually um, gonna stock up on a little bit of food because we actually don't have much in the kitchen since we're always on the road out here working with FedEx. Yeah. But um, yeah, in today's video, her rock can be a lot more crazier than mine. Just a little bit. And like I say, um, when you work here at FedEx Express or just pretty much anywhere, it just depends on your route how if you like it or not. Not just if you like it, but how you can handle it. Yeah, and if you can handle it. Some of these routes, and like I, like I said, her route's pretty crazy. She brought back, uh, how much did she bring back yesterday? 1,758. Yeah, so on my route, even in peak, I wasn't bringing those type of numbers. And how many stops do you usually do? About 40. About 40? So I do about 40 to 60. On a good day, I'll do about 42, 45. On a busier day, it's about 55 to 60. And she's getting, she's kind of up there and bringing back, I'm gonna bring her back only about three or 400 at this moment. During peak, it was a little bit higher, so. It looks like this is my peak season, to be honest. Um, because when I was riding around with Isaac in uh, December, for my training to know the route, we were bringing back like a hundred of that. Bring back just a hundred packages? Yeah. In December? In December. Oh, okay. Because uh, a lot of the places are closed. A lot of his places were closed. I mean, unless it was just that week that, um, you know, it happened to be closed. So I was like, oh, whatever, we're saying a lot. But we weren't filling up that truck. It wasn't, it, we were taking a rental. Well, I guess that explains it. So maybe it'll come back down. Maybe it won't. I guess we'll figure out since you're still new on the route. You're still knowing. You've been on about it for like three weeks, right? Yeah. So, yeah, I've been doing buying for almost half a year. So after I hit six months, I'm actually eligible to bid on a new route. I can't move to a new station until after two years of being at FedEx. But six months, I can look for, if I don't want to be in my area anymore, I can look to be um, somewhere else. And I really don't know. I have, I've thought about becoming a swing driver. <clears throat> but then again, I hear so much uh, so much bad stuff about, about it from swing drivers that it's not worth it. That they don't do it. Just look into something else, get a new route, or, or proceed just moving forward as a like ops lead or something like that. So I feel like swing drivers complain because they don't want to do the job. Oh, I, because I, a lot of swing drivers go by my route. They literally have to do my route, and I can't do it. And whenever I come back, they're like, you're just built different. <laughs> like, well, see, but the thing is, that's your route, so. Well, yeah, it's my route. Whenever, but, whenever it's your route, you go there every day, you're going to get used to it after a while. Well, yes, yeah, I'm not saying no. But, but if you're a swing driver, um. You're doing a new route every day. Yeah, pretty you much. You are, yes, I give you that. But. It's work. You're gonna do heavy stuff. You're gonna get light stuff. You're gonna get complicated. You're gonna get easy. But it's your job. Like you gotta learn to have the patience to do your job. If you don't like your job, you're gonna complain about your job, and you're gonna be like, I don't want to do this. All right. Now you have point. So would you become a swing driver? I would. Yeah. I would. Hey, better than me, because I don't know. <laughs> so. Um, no, so, but I've been thinking about it. I just don't know. Because uh, I actually really do like my route. I got a few hiccups here and there with some stops. But other than that, it's not bad. Um, I think the biggest benefit is that it's in an area where there's a lot of places I can stop by. So if I need to grab groceries, there's a, there's literally like stores right there. There's, um, there's yeah, there's Kroger. There's food. There's 
food everywhere, gas stations to fill up, uh, bathrooms. Like, I like all that. I actually I count all that as a factor. It's a pro in my route, but when it comes to like her route, she's near a 7 Eleven and a McDonald's. I have a 7 Eleven. She's doing it. This is for the ladies out there too that want to work at FedEx. I mean, prime example. She's doing pretty good. I'm be honest. You know, um, I was hoping the best for her when it came to this. Like, I was hoping she'd get didn't have to drive a big vehicle, didn't have a heavy route, and just <laughs> like I was, because I was like I liked it, but I didn't know how she was gonna like it. And she's driving the biggest trucks they have and like a huge route, and she's like. It's, it's cool. She don't even think twice about it. She's like, it's good. And for the most part, it sounds like it's a, she's in a good mood. So that that's always good news to hear. So. Yeah, like I said, you gotta enjoy it. You gotta find a way to enjoy it. So now you're gonna be miserable trying to figure it out. Yeah. I mean, I called you like, what? I was on the phone with, I was, tried to be on the phone with you all day. My first week. Yeah. I was using GPS the first week, the whole week. Cause you you get lost you do it's not like you know it it's a new place but after your first week you're doing it so often that you start to memorize it i hope you guys have a good day and um stay safe